As part of Fulcher Ireland's financial recovery supports, this video demonstrates how to populate the P&L and break-even Excel template to help you forecast your business cash flow. This template provides a platform for business owners to project revenues and costs out to March 2022. It calculates monthly EBITDA, which is earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, amortization, and the main KPIs, key performance indicators, associated with your business. It shows revenues, costs, and profit, loss, or break-even on a monthly basis. In advance of completing this template, it is important to have as much relevant financial information regarding your business as possible. This will include your 2019 monthly P&L, the monthly weightings of your annual revenues, and relevant KPIs. The template will allow you to then project the impact of COVID-19 on your business revenues. The P&L Excel template has two input tabs, trading input sheet and pre-opening costs, and one output tab, analysis, shown here. All of your data will be entered here in the orange boxes in the trading input sheet. Only enter data into the orange cells. The name of the business and opening bank balance are entered here in these two cells. The status of trading gives you three options, closed, pre-opening, and fully open. Choose the relevant option for each month from the drop-down box. Then insert the number of days for the month. In the pre-opening month, enter the number of days that the business will be open for. The business revenues are all entered in these rows. Taking the first revenue category as an example, which is admissions in this attractions template, enter the normal, that is pre-COVID-19, number of customers per day and average admission price. This would be, for example, 2019 trading figures. In this row, estimate what you believe will be the post-COVID-19 percent of revenues that your business will achieve. This is the adjusted admissions revenue. Complete this for each of the revenue departments. Each sectoral template has the relevant revenue departments listed. For example, within the accommodation templates, you will need to estimate occupancy an average room rate to calculate rooms department revenue. Costs for each department are then entered here. Department costs are entered as cost of sales, such as commissions or cost of goods sold, payroll, or other expenses directly related to that department. These costs will be entered as a percentage or euro value, depending on whether they are a variable or fixed costs. Again, complete this for every department or outlet. Each of the department payroll costs are calculated here. The normalized annual revenue is entered here, along with the fixed payroll cost in a euro value and the variable payroll cost as a percentage. Undistributed expenses are entered here. These are expenses that are not directly related to individual departments, but to the business as a whole. They include admin in general, sales and marketing, repairs and maintenance, and utilities. These cost lines include payroll, both fixed and variable, and other expenses. Utilities are calculated here. This calculates the monthly variable and fixed amount. Fixed costs, such as insurance or rates, are included here. You may have a number of creditors that you have to pay and you have agreed payment terms with, such as suppliers or revenue, for example. These can be entered here and are included below the EBITDA line in the analysis sheet. Upon completion of the trading input sheet, then populate the pre-opening cost tab. The data for this is for the period between the hotel being closed and open and will include costs such as staffing, cleaning, additional stocks, etc. Full details on completing this are in the pre-opening cost video. The analysis tab is the output sheet for the P&L. This is purely an output and nothing should be entered into this sheet. Revenues by department or area are listed here in these rows. Then costs for each of these departments are shown here 
and are broken out by cost of sales, payroll, fixed and variable, and other expenses. In looking at your costs in this detail, it can highlight any areas of inefficiency or overspend. Department profit is shown here. Similarly, undistributed expenses are shown here. You will notice that during the closed period, this is where much of your fixed costs will be, whereas in this example, there are no departmental costs. Fixed costs are shown here, and the exceptional pre-opening costs are shown here in this row. The other pre-opening costs, such as payroll, cost of sales, are built into the relevant line items above. Monthly EBITDA or net profit is shown here. These rows show your KPI analysis, which help you to track the key indicators of your business, such as cost of sales percentage, payroll percentage, gross operating profit, amongst others. And finally, break-even analysis is shown here. And as you have entered most of your costs as fixed or variable, you are able to calculate what your monthly contribution is based on your mix of business. The data provided in this Excel template will help you to forecast your business revenues and costs over the projection period, enabling you to make more informed business decisions. The P&L and break-even Excel templates and guidance notes to support this video are located here on the Fulcher Ireland website.